New York Comic Con is just around the corner where we'll be getting more news on the upcoming Star Trek Picard series, hopefully with a new trailer. You can check out our full speculation on the event in tomorrow's video. For now, let's look at a possible returning Trek character for the series. Q, I knew it! What's going on? It's Judge Q to you. And isn't it obvious what's going on? Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Trek Central. Today we have a theory slash speculation video for you all. We'll be talking about our favourite character Q and how he might be returning for the Star Trek Picard series. Thanks to our good friend Ketwalski who spotted this video on Instagram from a CBS visual effects employee which shows someone finishing up shots of a character off screen on the set of Star Trek Picard. Now we get a glimpse of this character who has a red glove and is holding some sort of golden staff. We are reaching far here but this reminds us very much so of Q's outfit from his courtroom scenes in Star Trek The Next Generation. To look at both sides, yes this could be a totally new character, but it does seem odd that the red glove looks super similar to what John Delancey's character of Q wore in The Next Generation. Most notably he wore it in the first episode, Encounter at Farpoint, and then again in the final episode All Good Things. This was inside Q's courtroom scene. If this is Q, then what does he have to do with John Luke Picard and the upcoming series? Well, we know that Q and Picard have a strong connection. This was explored through the Next Generation series through a multiple of episodes, which are some of the best in my opinion. Q was always fixated and had a strong interest with Picard, always popping in and out occasionally to either ask or help Picard with something. So him appearing later on in Jean-Luc's life isn't such a far-fetched idea. We know that Jean-Luc Picard is a changed man in the new show, someone who has been affected by several things. I find it hard to believe that Q would resist popping up to propel the character back into his normal ways. Speculation here, how would Q fit into the story of Picard? Well, like I mentioned, Q was interested in not just humanity, but specifically Picard. Therefore, he could drop in on his old friend to see how he's doing. Secondly, and stick with me here as this gets a bit crazy, we know that Data, played by Brent Spiner, is somehow back in this series. The famous android's reappearance has excited many and ignited discussion on how he could be back, ranging from Holodex to his brother B4. Well, in extended Star Trek canon, Q was involved in the resurrection of Data following his death in the events of Star Trek Nemesis. Now, this was explored in one of the books following Nemesis, though other stories contradict this and therefore personally I don't consider it the proper way Data is resurrected. We did a whole video on this, you can check it out if you so wish. Essentially what I'm saying is Q's appearance or cameo in Star Trek Picard could lead to Data being resurrected or something interesting happening with Jean-Luc. Ultimately don't know how this could turn out and obviously we'd need confirmation on who this character actually is or even if it is Q. Again, we simply do not know. It's fair to note that John Delancey has aged gracefully but looks quite different than he did almost 25 years ago. Instead of using de-aging tech to make him look more like the same Q we've seen before, I could easily see Q age himself to visually appeal to Picard in his old age, whether to show how they've grown together or simply for Q to mock Jean-Luc on how old he's become. Now John Delancey has been quite quiet on the topic of Picard, which could also suggest involvement in the show. He's known quite a lot to hide what he's working on, but again, the opposite of that is he could simply not be in it. Do you agree with us and other Trekkies that the red gloved hand and the golden staff looks like Q from the next generation? We certainly think so, but let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Just a small disclaimer, this is pure speculation and nothing has been confirmed or stated, though with New York Comic Con just around the corner, perhaps we'll be in for a surprise. That's it for our little speculation video on whether Q will pop into Star Trek Picard. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to subscribe to Trek Central here on YouTube. You can also follow us on social media or check out our website via the link in the description. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.